Night Hammer Fantasy. Welcome back to Vidhammer. I'm Spudlow, bringing you another news update for January 21st, 2014. I'm a little bit bummed this week because I didn't make it to the Dark Side tournament on Saturday. I ended up having to do some work and actually, you know, make some money rather than spend it, all that good stuff. But on the good side of things, I've hooked up Vidhammer for Facebook and Twitter. You can check it out at VidhammerF. I'll uh, post the direct links in the comments below. So now when I post videos and stuff, if you want to have all the super up-to-date everything, I'll be posting the videos up on Facebook and, uh, you know, whatever projects I'm, I'm finishing as things go. You know, I'll take more pictures and things like that. And, of course, Twitter. I'm not much of a big Twitter user normally, but whenever I do something specifically Warhammer-oriented, I'll put some updates on there so you guys can actually get info on what's going on. Also, instead of going to the tournament this past weekend, since I had time in the evenings and everything, I was able to finish painting my Warlord and the Help and Abomination. Abomination turned out pretty good, not quite as well as I would have liked, but uh, I think it'll be an interesting video once it's fully said and done and everything. So those will be coming out later on this week. Other news for Warhammer in general, Forge Worlds is now totally legal for tournament play. So all of the monsters and some pretty beefy stuff that goes along with it is now open for play. Though I take that with a grain of salt, since it's new and now being introduced, we'll see how far it actually goes and how many tournaments actually want to adhere to that. And I have a cat on a chair right behind me. Yes, hello kitty. So even though Forge World is there, I'm, I'm apprehensive about exactly how much that's going to change the game. There's a lot of hype about it right now. A lot of people saying, oh, it's going to destroy the game. Oh, it's going to make the game total, you know, cheater or cheese for, for certain armies. They're going to throw some really big nasty monsters in there and just spam nothing but that. But every time that happens with Warhammer, the hype doesn't last very long. If it ends up being something where every tournament is going to go by those rules, then you're going to get a significant number of people that are going to start doing the same things to their army lists, breaking them in the same ways. And that's going to cause tournament organizers to start changing and limiting what can be done. Uh, limiting if Forge World will actually be allowed at all. So we'll, you know, wait and see how that goes. Uh, the sky is not falling yet, you know. Just, just relax, chill out. If Even if it is horrible, it'll pass. Just like everything else, if something ends up totally broken and it makes it to where a lot of people hate it, then the groups are going to get together and they're going to change it. They're going to say, hey, well, in this tournament, uh, you know, local area, no, you're not going to have Forge Worlds. Hi, kitten. You have a comment about Forge Worlds? No, you're just going to sit here while I make the report now. Okay. All right. Another change I want to make to Vidhammer, to the channel, channel in general. Since from the very beginning, I wanted to make this a, a resource for battle reports specifically. I'm going to try to mention in Facebook and in the weekly reports the battle reports that I watch over the course of the week that I think are interesting and uh, you know have, have important things that happen into them, ones that are well done, uh, ones that might not have as much notoriety as they probably should. And I'll post those up so that you guys can actually check them out. So any of you that are making them yourselves, and perhaps I haven't checked out, uh, please let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in, in private messages and on Facebook, too, if you want to subscribe. And just let me know and feel free to post things and say, hey, I just made a video. It's this. Check it out. And I'll check it out. And if it's, uh, you know, if it's cool, even if it's not, hey, if, it's, if you're just getting started and everything, still, people want to check it out. And, uh, you know, that's how you build your, your viewer audience and everything. So I'm here to want to help out people that are getting started and point people in the right directions of uh, the good battle reports that are out there. So, 
we'll see how that goes. Look for that stuff coming up. Finally, the comments that I've had towards the Screaming Bell. I know that my opinion that I don't particularly fancy the Screaming Bell. A lot of people apparently really like it. And that's totally okay. It's just not my type of thing from the, the times that I have played it. Uh, from the games that I've played with the Screaming Bell and the ones that I've played with the Plague Furnace, the Plague Furnace seems to be a much better option. It does more damage consistently. But I will try the Screaming Bell out a couple more times. If anybody has any specific tactics that they want to see used, feel free to let me know. I'll use them. I'm probably going to be putting it in with the unit of clan rats, trying to make it unbreakable, using it as a bit of a speed bump, or at least something to block a heftier unit in combat and buy it time to get the flanking units in, the Doom Wheel, the Help and Abomination, and maybe put a few rat ogres in. I don't know, those guys. They don't have much ground to stand on in my army lists these days. But I'm sure some people like those, but very few people have actually tried to defend the rat ogres. Several people have wanted to defend the Screaming Bell. And yeah, it does have some, some great purposes. It just doesn't seem like it would be consistent enough. But maybe I haven't used it enough in the times that I've used it. It's not really done what I needed it to when I needed it to. But I will give it another chance. I will. That's about all for this week from me and the kitten, who's... Maybe I can get her to paint something for me. Right, kitty? Maybe. Till next time, you guys, keep fighting.